Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out today's video. So today's video is brought to you by Bobby Boss. Thank you so much Bobby Boss for sending over this new hair. This is the Pixie Locks in 36 inch and this one is a two times. So you have two bundles in each pack. So um, the bundles come twisted together and you just untwist them and then you undo the gold foil at the top and those are the locks. They are so long. But they're really, really lightweight, you guys. This is literally the longest hair I've ever installed in my life. <laughs> so here's my old, old braid pattern. Um, it's literally just four braids at the top, two braids coming up the side, and then just straight back cornrows at the back. And then I always do two vertical braids going across, excuse me, two horizontal braids going across just to create less tension and make it easier for me to install the hair in the back at the nape of my neck. So I didn't want to take forever installing this, so I installed three locks at one time. These locks are not pre-looped, so you just put the three locks on your finger and just pull down and just, yeah, feed it through as you normally would. But yeah, there's no loop, but these are super, super easy to install even without that. So I did the first row. I did about four um, different sections of three locks each and then I did about six different sections of three locks each across that next um, cornrow. So this is what it's looking like with the bottom two rows fully completed. The hair is so long, you guys. I literally had to step back to show it. It's literally past my waist. Um, it's very, very long. All right, you guys. So this is one. So two whole packs on the back of my head, which is actually good because usually I use three. Do I usually use three? No. No. Usually I use three bundles of hair in the back of my head, not packs. So actually this is more than what I usually use because each pack has two bundles. So this is four bundles of hair in the back of my head, which is actually more than I typically use. Typically I use three bundles of hair in the back of my head, but for this one I used four. So this is what four bundles in the back look like. So what I'm gonna try to do is do two bundles on either side or maybe one and a half bundles on either side because I don't want it to be too too thick but these are so small that you kind of need a lot but we'll see how that goes I'm not sure how it's looking in the back Erica how is it looking in the back it's a little full but part of your cornrow right here is it's showing, showing. Yeah, some so of the cornrow is showing yeah, just on that one on this one mm -hmm. okay so i'll probably add a little bit more but i mean it's already so full but it's full it is full but yeah. outside of that that's but i'll that probably show. add a little more to that one cornrow yeah. um but yeah outside of that i think i'm gonna leave it you guys i had to take my sweatshirt off my hoodie was so hot but this is the length so it's literally past butt length it's literally down to like my lower thigh. So let's get started on the front. So I just wanted to mention that in the back I used three locks at a time when I was installing um, on each time. But on the sides, I just used two locks at a time because I didn't want it to be too bulky on the sides. So in the back, I put three locks in the crochet needle every time. But on the sides, I only put two locks in the crochet needle at a time.
So um, the only difference for the top two cornrows, I only used one lock on the crochet needle at a time because I did want it to look a little more natural. And so I ended up just doing one lock on the crochet needle at a time, only on the top two cornrows to give it a more natural look. So I thought that the parting space, the part looked a little too wide and I didn't like that. So I just went in with a few um, of the pixie locks at the top where the parting space was and just filled in just to disguise the cornrow a little bit and to close up the parting space so it wasn't such a wide, huge gapping part. So again here at the top, um, just like I did on the other side of the part, I just wanted to add a few locks at the top just to disguise the cornrow and to also fill in the parting space so it wasn't so wide. So then I went ahead and started tackling my edges. Um, my braid pattern is pretty old, so there was a lot of extra hair coming out of the cornrows. So when my braids are really old, I tend to style my um, edges because they get a little unruly. So I grabbed my Glee Made Edge Control, can be found on Amazon Prime or on my website. Um, I grabbed my Glee Made Baby Hair um, brush and my Glee Made Baby Hair scarf to tame my edges. I also used a little bit of the um, uh, hold spray by Got To Be Glued and yep, yeah, that was pretty much what I did. I went ahead and put on some makeup and realized I needed to go ahead and trim the ends of the hair so that everything was nice and even. So I went ahead and just grabbed some scissors and did that part. And this is what the hair is looking like. I made the mistake of wearing a sweater and the hair was clinging to it a little bit, but I actually love this color and I think it looks really pretty. So this is the end result. The braid pattern gives you a lot of flexibility on how you can wear the hair. You can wear it in a middle part, a side part, um, on either side. You can wear it up or down, and I absolutely love the versatility of it. I would say that these pixie locks really remind me of sister locks. So if you're thinking about getting sister locks, this may be a great way to test it out first and see how you like them. They do come in two different lengths. And as I was wearing them, I ended up cutting them into a shorter bob and I absolutely loved that look as well. I will leave links down below to where you can check this hair out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you share this video, share it with a friend, share it with a crochet lover, share this video with your mama. Peace.